Now that your audio file has been uploaded, it's time to edit your XML file. As a reminder, do not alter the first three lines of the file or the last two lines. Up at the top, you need to change the title and the description to reflect the course that you are actually teaching. Now you will need to edit the information between the two item tags for the audio file which you just uploaded. Provide a title for your audio file as well as a brief description of the audio episode you have just created. In between the two link definers you want to include your personal website link or possibly a link to the institution where you work. You do not put the link to the audio file in this particular spot. The link to the audio file, which you have uploaded to archive.org or to another hosting service, should be placed in the enclosure line in between the quotation marks. The text that is highlighted should be replaced by the URL. Switch to your web browser and copy the web link to the audio file you have uploaded into this position between the quotation marks. Now if you want to add a second audio file once you have saved this, you will highlight and copy the information in between the two item tags that are present. Once your new item has been placed, you will want to go in and now edit the information within this second item for the second audio file that you have uploaded. If you have more audio files or as you continue throughout the semester with your class, each audio file will receive its own item designation within the XML file.